Over the weekend, I got to playtest the new tactical shooter, Spectre Divide. Now, we weren't allowed to stream or record anything during the playtest, so I'm using officially released gameplay to get my point across. Starting out, the game can feel pretty overwhelming at first. There are eight total characters called sponsors, four of which are unlocked from the start, and each character comes with its own unique abilities. Now, this in itself is nothing new. What makes Spectre Divide harder than a traditional attack shooter is the Spectre clone mechanic. On top of learning the maps, guns, and character abilities, this additional mechanic adds possibilities to the game that for new players can feel less like a game of strategy to feeling like a game of chance. In addition to counter-cheating, Mountaintop Studios have chosen to use BattleEye Anti-Cheat along with proprietary systems, whatever that means, to counter-cheating. I really hope this is enough because as much as I don't like the idea of kernel level anti-cheats, the recent Crowdstrike fiasco being the perfect example, I do appreciate the confidence of competitive integrity that Valorant's kernel level anti-cheat provides. Lastly, I have to mention this because it's a personal pet peeve of mine. Why is the bomb called Zeus? Valorant called a spike. These guys are calling it Zeus. We don't have to reinvent the word for bomb every time a new tax shooter comes out.